Hello everyone and welcome back to Jimputi Jam's Mini! Yay! It's a Sunday! Happy long weekend everyone, I'm here with Zenrot. Hello! And this is a late video upload for me, but it's fine because we're here with the info for Suna and Reborn for the upcoming event. <laughs> totally by accident, we were just hanging out already. And I said, Literally oh, by sure. accident, yeah. Completely. So, uh, let's see what we got here, Zen. Uh, I will read it off for once. Because I actually see it. Ultimate. The ultimate dying <laughs> will. Inflict 500% damage to one enemy. And if the enemy is tank class. Inflict an additional 20% damage. 30% in tower. For 3 turns. Boost this unit's attack by 33%. Uh, support. I'll defeat you with my dying will. Converts 5 heart bubbles to red. Converts 5 blue bubbles to green. Recovered 3000 HP. 70,000 HP in tower. Removes the strongest attack boost from all enemies for two turns. Burn one enemy. The burn starts at 4,000. Is it 40,000 or 4,000? That oh. is... 40. Okay. 40,000 damage, and every turn after, add an additional 40,000 damage. Uh, passive, the final stage of the Dying Will. Reduce the number of turns of weakening for this unit by 2. Boost this unit's attack by 7% on turns 2, 4, 6, and 8 of the adventure before this unit's turn. Convert two yellow and heart bubbles to rainbow. On turns two and eight of the adventure, activate double... Wow, a double tap unit. Activate double tap. This unit will get two actions. On turn 14 of the adventure, activate triple tap. God damn. This unit will get three <laughs> triple actions. Triple tap. Jesus, my God. At the start of the turn, if the enemy is balanced class, guard 12% of all damage received for this unit. Shout out to OCHD for translating this, of course. So, this is literally just us showing up here, raw thoughts. How you feeling about him, Zen? Uh, obviously, I only know, like, PvP shit, so mm -hmm. I'm so-so I'm on my PvE knowledge. But for PvP, he looks pretty cool. 500's a little low, um, but if it's a tank, he goes up to 530, which is respectable. Mm -hmm. Also, 33% is a pretty fat boost on an ultimate, so that's yeah. not bad. Um, the passive is cool. I wish it made a skill bubble, but if it did, it would probably be pretty too good. Yeah, at um, that point that he's been doing too much. Yeah, because 70k HP is not a weak heal. Uh, he also removes a buff, which is good, and he gives an 80k total burn, which is a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and then his passive is also cool because uh, you get fucking double tap on the second slot, which is new. Yeah, that's that's new. It's kind of... Yeah. So now with him, that means that there is now, in theory, a team that can double tap on turn one double tap on turn two and double tap on the fourth turn the only thing we're missing is a third double tapper yep so, so i feel like that double tap on turn two is going to automatically make him if not meta very close to it um i also think he's a decent candidate for like running the itachi buddy so to, to trigger his buddy skill yeah because again that skill's pretty fucking good for a seventy thousand heal and the attack removal, and a burn. Yes. Like, yeah, you're not getting an ultimate, but it's still a lot. Um, and you can kind of counterbalance that, like not getting the ultimate, by the fact that he's going to get two actions on the board since he's double tap. Yeah, you're right. Um, you're going to get all three of your skill uses, and then he's going to get two individual touches as opposed to just the one. So you don't need that extra bubble. You could just replace it with this instead and make the bubble yourself on the board. Mm -hmm. Um I like him a lot. I think he's cool. I might try to get him strictly for that second turn double tap and try to do like, I don't know, Giyu, Tanji first, this guy second, third, just someone that does a big old punch, and then fourth, uh, Hiei and Killua. Maybe Asta, maybe transforming Asta third. Yeah, I I also really like this. I am a big fan of Suna and Reborn, so I was really hoping that he would be in some ways good, and I think they've done a pretty damn good job on here. The support is very interesting. Like you said, uh, kind of running him with Itachi would be the best if he's actually being used as the main dude here because that's a decent chunk of healing. Um, and burn damage is nothing to kind of like uh, scoff at. <laughs> Units that give burn damage are very useful. Yeah, burn is good. Any sort of passive damage like that is good. The problem with a lot of like buddy versions of it is that the damage never really does that much. But 80k is like, pretty good yeah it's pretty nice and that passive is 
hilarious. <laughs> the idea that on the 14th turn, you get a triple tap. Yeah, that, that's such a specific number that I wonder if there's a boss where, like, turn there 15, has, you yeah, lose the, or something. Turn I, Whatever boss that they're going to be coming out for him, I'm going to guarantee you, is going to take full advantage of him, of it taking, like, either it taking a while or it being, like, it's stalled out to that turn or something. Like, even if you well, don't yeah, cause like, it's not it's not every 14 turns, it's the 14th turn. Yes. So, like, I, I guess turn 15 is probably like, oh, you die now because you didn't win on turn 15 or something. That's what I'm thinking. But either way, a triple tap is pretty nice. Even if it is yeah, something that's cool. that... Yeah, something that probably won't show up a lot, but for that one fight, that's got to be <laughs> amazing to have a triple tap. But even still, the double tap is very nice. And he's also in a, a double tapper in a slot that is up until this point literally no one else has so i like the idea of there being so many like turns at one point and giving you the option of being like well you can run a like you said in beforehand you can run actually kind of like a more support and still kind of have a um skill there because you'll make the skill bubble yourself and that'll work out that way so i think that's uh, yeah like you don't have to rely on a buddy to make it because you can just make it for yourself on the board especially if you run someone like reborn or the baseball guy on your leader who reduces mm-hmm. the amount of bubbles that you need to make skills becomes a lot easier for you then on the second turn to just make one on your own as yeah. you then like because you can basically make one yourself then go through your entire list of buddy skills and then pop them all uh for the last turn so it'd still be really easy to get five on turn two even if you run one that doesn't do that or if you'd run another like if you forego itachi and you do run somebody that gives you a skill bubble that just becomes really easy to get six yeah, you got a point there. Man, I really want this guy. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm... So... Uh, I don't yeah. know. The The only thing that holds me back for going for him is that he's red. Yeah, um, I kind of have already a lot of good red units. I, I have a lot of good red units, and I also think red in PvP is, like, kind of a wasteland because there's a shitload of good blues. Um, it, 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 you do and, like, the good red reds in PvP are, like... Oh god, like Boruto, um Starfish and still Roger. Out damage? I mean, kind of. He's like, okay. But I mean, if you think about red units that you see in PvP, it, it's Roger. it's well yeah, it's Roger ninety nine percent of the time. And then if it's not Roger, it's Boruto. And then if it's not one of those two, it's Ace and Luffy in the front for people that don't have Giyu and Tund- and Tundra. I occasionally see Kanika Man every once in a while to give bleed. But yeah, you're right. There's you know, no, I there's don't two... see... Yeah, it, it's just... Uh, I mean, you see, occasionally you'll see stragglers. Like, you'll see Law sometimes, or um, Endeavor. Yeah. And even, like, Bakugo now and again. Um, but, like, with Blues, the Blues in PvP are just go crazy, dude. They're everywhere. It's like Tanjiro, uh, Giyu, Joseph, and Caesar are all over the fucking place, especially in Slot 2 which I think is a problem for having a red in slot two. Yep, which um, is why you probably want that heal for sure. Yeah, and then you've got like Deku and All Might, which are crazy good. You've got Kenshin, Part 4 Jotaro. You've got uh, regular Gyu, like the one with the, the Slayer mark. Yeah, that's right. You've got that girl that you like that's the, the ice skater. Yes. Like there's sensei. so many good blues that people run in PvP that I feel like it's really hard to, to run a red and. The fact that that double tap is slot two, which also happens to be Joseph and Caesar's favorite slot because you get weakening for the rest of the round if it hits, is like, oof. Mm, very good point there. You got a very good point. But the unit is really good in a vacuum. So, like, in matches where you don't see Joseph and Caesar right there, it's like, goddamn. He's yeah. going to light shit up. You're in the clear in that case. Yeah, I want him. Because, again, like I said, I'm a big fan of Reborn. I love seeing Yeah, if, if you're a hit I I am not a Hitman Reborn fan, so that's also holding me back a little bit. Like I I might I think he's good, but I might just catch him on a rerun later on. Um because my PvP team I've already like kind of put work into, so I'm not like super eager to start over again on somebody else. Um I might let him pass, but if you're a Hitman Reborn fan, this is your dude. The, like this is the man. <laughs> this, this is the one. This is my dude. Man. I'm gonna have to see if I can <laughs> one multi in a dream, baby. That's all I need. <laughs> uh, hey, you do what you can. <laughs> you do what you can. Yeah, we'll 
Do uh, that. man, for PvP, I've started just like, what do I use now? I use Tanjiro Giyu in the front. I use Joseph and Caesar second. I use uh, the Gintama duo third, just because it's Gintama. Apparently, they're mm-hmm. good in PvP. I haven't actually like read their kit. I was just like, oh. I want to have a team that's all duos, and I need a green one, and I really like Gintama these days, so I'm going to use them. Thankfully, they ended up at the top of S tier in the PvP tier list, so I was like, cool. Lucked out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm using them purely for that reason. I'd be using Transforming Asta instead. And then Hiei and Killua in the back, and that team fucks so hard. Sounds pretty good. I think mine is basically... I'm still trying to figure it out specifically. I think I'm leaning towards getting... Um, Crollo, so I can finally use Sensei as a main unit. <laughs> because I finally have enough 10 limited tickets to get one free limited. So I'm debating whether or not to get Crollo, but I don't know if what are the chances of Crollo showing up somewhere else. Because if you don't know this, he's basically the Itachi for blue. So I'm like, yeah, he is. I use him yes. on some people. So I would definitely use him um, between him and Bobo Patch and Nosuke. Crollo is so old that you'll probably see him on a lot of shit. Like, he's been on multiple banners this year. Um, problem is, you're going to have to spend rubies to try to get fucking Crollo, who's super old. That's um, the thing. I'm really hoping that he gets put on a free ticket at some point. Like a, like a celebration? Yeah. I'm, I'm um, hoping you know, that you might as well more. wait through the end of the 4.5, because we're definitely going to get free limiteds on the 4.5. Um. Yeah, you're right. That's the and then use it there. I mean, it sucks to wait like three months, yeah, but they still, also like, might update it too. And if if they update it, then I yeah. might also have a chance of getting like someone like Shirahoshi or something like that. One of the older units that got released after my time. So. Yeah, I could see Shirahoshi being in the next batch. She's not super old, but she's not super new either. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like the, the specific era of like not old, but not new enough to be like not at it or something like that i think right that's probably where she's currently yeah. living so although but with she... limiteds they they do tend to trend older when it comes to giving them out for free yeah like they give away uh uh gold the kaniku man and he's the the kaniku man guy and he's extremely powerful. gold man yeah. yeah gold man is powerful so it gives me hope so i think i'll just wait for the 4.5 and yeah because i mean if Wait, if you wait for the 4.5, then you at the very least know who you're going to get. So if Crollo's not on there, you can just get Crollo. If he is, you can get someone else. That way you're not... Because, like, the, the limited tickets you save up, those fragments, that's like a full year, dude. That's 10 months. Yeah, it's a... Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to blow it and then get, like, a dupe of the guy that you picked out of the ticket in the 4.5 because there's no one else that you want in there. Damn it, you're right. All right, I'm going to hold off on it. But I'm yeah. going to still think about Suna when we get closer to it. So good luck to anyone out there who's going to be going for him. He seems perfectly good enough to warrant going for it. And if you're a big fan of Reborn, then come on. <laughs> this is your guy. Yeah, um, if you're if you're a Reborn fan, this is your dude because he is uh, fucking good. That you can actually get because our uh, the, the Musoi is not easy to get. He's your guy who's actually no. legitimately easy to yeah. get. Yeah, uh, if you don't want to suffer through trying to chase a Muso. Yes. Then yeah, this is your dude. Third Suno, let's go. I think this is the yeah. Third there's one. just <laughs> is he just the only character anyone recognizes from Hitman Reborn or something? Okay, about so why? Suno always has the really cool fucking. He, he shoots fire out of his hands, and he always goes X burner. You can't have a move called X burner and not constantly be the last dude. So every single <laughs> Suno that they've made is from the end of an arc where he does a really cool like x burner and he he fucking destroys them so it's all fitting it's all good it's like goku <laughs> like yes he does a kamehameha but if every single kamehameha is fucking sick then what's to complain about <laughs> <laughs> okay i can respect that yeah that's where i'm currently standing i do wish eventually that they will get into some of the other characters <laughs> now that they've done i think basically every suna and now also reborns on here which is nice Maybe doing some of the other characters for next time would be pretty sweet, but we'll see when. I mean, there's a shitload of new characters in this event. I feel like OCHD's entire Twitter history for the past like five days has been new fucking reborn character. 
Yeah, they're doing it big for them. I can't wait for... We'll co- we'll actually do that on a larger episode. But for now, we wanted to just talk about that. And also because I hadn't uploaded a video today, it felt just right <laughs> now that we're here together. Let's do it. <laughs> so thank you very, Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. You have a good day, and we will see you guys in the next video. Say goodbye, Zen. See you later. Bye. I was about to hit the hang up button on OBS and not the actual stop recording on... <laughs> OBS. I was about to just uh, <laughs> close the just Discord call. Leave it up, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah.